words. And mm. I think the, the anecdote was there was a, a youth worker or someone who had gotten mm. some boys to wear t-shirts that said mm. we don't bash chicks. Yeah. And one of the workers said, oh, yeah, they're no, not no, overly no. comfortable with the word yeah. chicks. And your quote, especially I loved, was they were speaking their language, their intention was good, mm. and the context was what makes the meaning. Mm. So sometimes maybe we obsess a little bit too much about oh. actual semantics. Absolutely, I 100% agree. And I think that is the case with anyone who is an ideologue, anyone who's very passionate. You need the passion for any movement. It doesn't matter if it's feminism or any other kind of movement. The problem with that, it can make you very one-eyed, it can make you too focused, if you like. When you've got a group of boys who have no interest in feminism, have never come across it before, have gotten involved in this project, and they're prepared to go into the schoolyard with a t-shirt, which they designed, so it comes from them, that says, I don't bash chicks. The fact that I'm uncomfortable with the word chicks is irrelevant. Now, there's a, there's a point at which that would tip over. If it was, say, sluts, for example, I'd be going, eh, but come on, you know, like everything's a bit of a gray area. That one, you let it go to the keeper, as far as I'm concerned. Look at what they're doing. It's actually a big risk for them. You know, to take on an issue like that, that's not a popular issue for a young boy, probably even in the inner city, but certainly in that school, to go in and kind of go, you know what, I care about this and I don't like that this is happening. Good on them. Why would you do anything but praise them? Yeah, no, I completely agree.